Hey guys, it's John, and welcome back to Resident Evil Village. This is part seven. We're in the middle of Heisenberg's factory, and uh, I think we're about halfway through? I don't know. Lots of things are being produced here in the factory, none of which I approve of. We just got through the first section, I think. I think we're through like the first half. And I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, continue exploring and seeing what awaits us. So far, the factory's been a very dank, dark, industrial section of the Got game, which is... Go. Thank you for your input, Ethan, is very different from the rest of the game, which has been very, uh, nature-focused. But anyways, wow, here's another weird ladder, thanks. Is there just... I swear to God. If there's just a wooden crate here... Which, by the way, towards the end of the game, I just found out, somebody told me in the comments, you can just press F to break the crates and you don't need to actually equip the knife. So, that's great. I had the knife taking up a slot for like the entire game. Miranda thinks we're nothing but children. Oh, she doesn't care for us? No. She's long lost all her humanity. Okay. I must destroy her. I don't give a shit about your family drama. Hi. He's like, I didn't like that. How about that? Man, he's getting all up in my face. Get out of here. Let's see if we can snipe these guys. Ooh. Oh, that's right. <laughs> I love it. What you got for me? Polycrystal skull, a pipe bomb, another pipe bomb, an herb, break, gunpowder. Okay, let me check the, uh, all right. So we're just randomly in the caves? Is there a point to this? Are we gonna blow something up? Would rather be in the caves if we were able to blow something up. Okay, so we got a couple. Oh, we got three of them, really. <laughs> Dude. I love it. Anyone else? Huh? Huh? Oh, where am I? You got your visor on, kind of hard to see with that thing on, isn't it? I like how offended they get right after I destroy their visor. They're like, hey! You weren't supposed to do that. I got a lockpick, by the way, but... There's not a whole lot of, like, locked drawers to pick. Thanks for the crystal fragment. Very generous of you. I guess I'll just, uh... Go in here. I have no idea where I'm going or what I'm doing at this point. Uh, just the overall goal of like getting deeper into the factory is what's propelling me. So what? Oh, oh, oh! Let's get that pipe bomb out. I got a lot of these. Okay. Nice. Ooh, large crystal. Look at all these treasures. Yellow quartz. Vivianite. Amazing. Are we good here now? Yeah. Sweet. And that was a breakable wall that we just finished. Sorry, I know it might be annoying that I check the map every two seconds. I just don't want to miss anything. And I know I've already missed, you know, several things. Um... I'm not gonna 100% it on a blind playthrough, but I'm gonna at least, you know, give it a shot. Let's try not to miss anything. Is something up there? Oh my god. I mean, and we wanna, I'm sorry, we wanna go up? Are you sure? Put the big scary fans up there. Yeah, Mel scrap. <laughs> Sniper rifle ammo. Hey. Somebody up there? 
I guess we'll just uh, check it out. Oh, really? Oh, that sucks. You thought I forgot my strat? Come on. Come on, come on, come on. No, 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 come this way. Oh, look at the, well, look at this. Okay, fine. Ah, <laughs> dumb shit. Oh, you're so stupid. I'll go ahead and pick this up. Oh, idiot. Come on, no, 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 you can do it. Come on, keep going. You got it this time for sure. I won't stay in your way. Oh, that's so sad. Oh. Large crystal mechanical heart. Is he, uh... Very good. Oh. Come on this way. Oh, you almost did it. Let's see. Right, come on up. Damn, it's too bad I missed right there. Stop covering it up. Ah, you weirdo. Thank you. And he's still covering it up. I don't like that. Huh. Okay, what about this? What about this? <laughs> Dude. Did I get you? Oh, isn't that a shame? What do I call those guys? Like, hammerhead dudes? Now, before someone points it out to me. So there's, see it's zero out of seven right there? Here we go. I think these are the flashbang rounds right here, which I think just blind people? I'm not sure. And then this is, these are the explosive rounds that I have out now, so. I am aware of the difference. Just figured I'd throw it out there. I, I do know. All right, well now that we've uh, destroyed those two losers, let's keep going, I guess. Thanks for the handgun ammo, bro. So, what is, yeah, what is the plan here, dude? Okay, I have to stop this, right? Okay, is it, ah, uh, I had the right idea, I just, didn't have the right aim. Just one more. What a glaring weakness this is. Are you stopping? Okay, now don't start it back up again, please. Heisenberg's just gonna like flick a button. Right as I'm going up and it's gonna tear me to shreds, ugh. Oh. Please don't. Oh, we're, we're walking on the blades? This is scary. This is like the scariest part of the game. No thank you. Shotgun ammo. Wow. Who built all this stuff? How very Resident Evil of you to have this be the final area, I'm guessing. There might be a, there's probably like a, like a final battle area in addition to this, but I'm just guessing that this is. Factory map, upper levels. That's great. Yeah, we're on B2. We're actually like really close. Oh. Yeah, look at all this, okay. What is this? Soldat enhancement. Soldat jet. We just fought against those guys. Attach a jet pack and head stabilizers to a soldat. Greatly improves mobility. Yeah, I'd imagine being able to fly improves your mobility. Experiments prove limited flight capabilities. No long distance flight, but now possible to navigate rugged terrain. Soldat enhancement. Soldat panzer. Attach aluminum alloy shielding to a soldat to protect chest reactor and expose flesh. I feel like this should have been like the first innovation. And not the last one. 
Experimentation proves he is invincible against regular firearms. So that's propeller head, right? Armor doesn't hold up against strong blasts. Further development needed. Ooh. Okay. Chem fluid. Okay, we just uh just picked up a few extra things. And okay, I'm gonna push this out of the way. I've actually got tons of crafting materials. I should consider crafting some things. Should I go up there? Or should I crawl in here? Uh, let's crawl in here first. I guess. Um, actually, what have we got? Let's see. I think I might need, yeah, just like one of these. And then let's make some explosive rounds. I feel like I'm gonna need these like super hard. Sorry, I don't know why those take herbs, by the way. Can I just state that for the record? I don't understand why those need uh, herbs to create the explosive rounds. That doesn't make any sense to me. But we've got tons available now. I heard that, I read that bit about the strong blast and I was like, hmm, I'm gonna have to craft some then. Ball mold. And handgun ammo. Perfect, oh, and then we blow this up. Which, let me pull this. Walk away from it. Oh, what? Oh, we're just on the other side. <laughs> we're just on the other side, my bad. I like overreacted to that. We're good here, yeah. Okay. Let me pointlessly blow up this wall in between me and where I just was two seconds ago. All right, let's go up. So I got a ball mold. That means I can go mold a ball. What? Oh. Uh, had to do it. Had to do it. Ethan, that could have killed Shoot. you. That was close. <sighs> yeah, a bit too close. Let's head this way. Am I? Oh, I'm just up here. Oh, what? All right, I want anyone out there who was rolling their eyes just now that I was going back this way. I want you to see. See? This is my reward. I bet you I'm gonna get to the end of this and it's gonna be like, hmm, 19 out of 20 goats or something. I don't know how many there are. 24 out of 25 goats. Hmm, you just missed one of them. Hmm, what a shame. And then I'm gonna be like, where the, f where was it? Am I going down this way? I need to use the ball mold. Am I gonna be able to do that? Oh, does this? <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Ethan, you're just like randomly going up to buttons and pressing them. I <laughs> Where am I? Thanks for the cam fluid, I guess. What's this button? Let's press it. I don't know. <laughs> Soon, she'll start her ceremony with your rose. If that happens, it's all over. For your kid and for the whole village. But don't worry. I'll stop it. I'll use Rose to kill Miranda. <laughs> Poor Papa. You're the only one who doesn't see your kid's power. Take Rose? <laughs> I'd like to see you try. Dude, you just kinda you just kinda like left all of her body parts up there. You're completely separated from her, so anyone can just take her, really. One of the lichens can just take her. 
Uh, I'd just like to say this about Heisenberg's voice. Um, I find it a bit odd. I've been trying to hold back. I'm not saying that the voice actor's doing a bad job or anything, but he does kind of sound like a Redditor trying to be edgy. I don't know how to explain it. It's like, he's, you know like that kid that you knew when you were a teenager who was really into like Yu-Gi-Oh? And sometimes they would randomly like role play being like a dark version of themselves or something. That, that, that's what this guy sounds like. It's like, I'm Yami Daniel. And you're like, Daniel, you're being so weird right now. And they're like, uh, you must, you, I will banish you to the shadow realm. That's what he sounds like. I just kind of want to shove him into a locker is what I'm saying. Heisenberg, key mold. Stop giving me so many molds. What is with this game and molds? Oh, another explosive round. I just think if somebody was talking to me in this voice that Heisenberg is talking to me to, uh, I, I'm not sure that they would achieve the desired effect of intimidation. Let's go ahead and, and, get, and bring back the, um, where is it? The shotgun. This is our new shotgun, I forgot. Oh, did you upvote my thread? <laughs> I made front page. Milady. Are we good? Okay, I'm just gonna go up. I'm just gonna keep going up. There's more? Yeah, dude, this place is like insanely huge. I'm assuming that we can actually go down and like do the molds. Because I got two new molds. And uh, yeah, let's go ahead and bring it up. I'm thinking we're gonna need to go like create a key. Yeah, that's what the key mold is probably for. Yeah, yep, yep, yep. Alright. Bring the Duke up. I'm ready to make some upgrades. I'm ready to sell some stuff. Make some upgrades. Hey, Duke. Guess what? I'm rich. Naturally. Let's see. We'll sell this for 41k. Uh, overall, I have like 59,000, so... Not I've that much. Some new stock. What? You keep saying this. Where is it? Maybe. Oh, these are so expensive. Let's get. Let's just get ammo, dude. Yeah. Let's just buy ammo. Thanks. And I'll get this too. And uh. Oh, that. Joy. And that. And then. This is all an investment, even. I'll get uh, sniper damage. Cool. A thousand? A thousand is nothing Good to sneeze day, at. Then. Don't you even dare sneeze at that. Right? Uh, let's let's go all the way down to B4. I think that's where we can use the mold, and I can make the key and the ball, so we can do the final labyrinth, get that done with, and then we can make the key and go into the various rooms. And then I think we'll be done with the factory, it looks like. Okay, here's the labyrinth. I found it. It's right here, and... Oh, okay. Uh... I need to actually, like, craft the ball, though, so... Ow! For crying out loud. Yeah? Yeah, are you done? Okay. Are we done now with you? Where is... I think I'm getting close to the mold. I think I took the longest possible route to get there, because this whole place is a maze, man. Okay, because here's... Yeah, here's where I put in the cog, and then... Up here, oh my god. Really? I hate you. Just so you know, I, I hate you. Okay, uh, key mold. Yeah, thank you. Heisenberg's key. Dude, anyone with your mold 
can make a perfect copy of your key? Not very secure. And then he leaves the mold just lying around in some random bowel of his gigantic factory. Anyone could just make this key, dude. There we go, iron horse ball, perfect. Now, if I'm not mistaken, we can just go right over here. <laughs> and we can use it right now. Is it here? I'll hope you don't have anything valuable in here. Uh-oh, what was that? Yeah? Come on out. Oh, are you dead? Your visor didn't even break. Whoa! A thousand damage is enough to instant kill these guys with a headshot! Whoa, I'm so good! Look at all this rusted scrap! Okay, I was about to say, there's no way that's all this in here. Oh, the giant case. Mechanical part, shaft, I knew it. Let's go ahead and combine these. Combine, looks like I can complete the hammer now. <gasps> Look at this. It looks like an old timey lawnmower. <laughs> like a manual lawnmower. Oh, I'm sorry, it's Heisenberg's hammer. What? Yeah, was he using that earlier? Why is it in pieces now? Oh, that's it? So in between when Heisenberg like used his hammer on me and now he was like, huh, I think I'll take it apart, Ethan, and place two different pieces in different places on my factory. And then when asked why the hell he would do that, uh, he couldn't think of anything. All right, let's, uh, let's go this way. Is there a, what is this switch? What is this? Have I done this before? Oh yeah! Oh, it opens up! The switch. Oh wow, another lock pick? It keeps giving me lock picks, but not enough like locks to pick, you know? I got well one of y'all is gonna come to life and I'm not even gonna act surprised when it happens. Oh. Oh, did he have the plate? Come on. Okay. I like how I just got like drilled through and I didn't die. That's probably something that wouldn't fly on a higher difficulty. Now where, what was in here? Oh. It's the long barrel for the Magnum. Medical log, revitalization oh. surgery. This is my 18th attempt. The subject is Oscar the Stable Boy, 20 years old. He fell down the well while drunk. Body is in good condition. <clears throat> Chest incision complete. Now to remove the heart and vital organs and implant the control device. Hmm. Excellent. Cadeau has begun adhering to the nervous Cadeau. system. It's progressing even faster than before. Seems upping the ratio of meta-albumin in the artificial blood was the right choice. What? Because then tight? Pass a current through the brain stem using 6,600 volts. Come on. It has to work this time. Yes. Yes! Ha 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 Wonderful! My creation! At last! I'll get that. Bitch yet. <laughs> Ending recording. It's interesting. Uh, 
the way that Heisenberg emphasizes words, it's very odd sometimes. I'll get that bitch yet. Shouldn't it be like, I'll get that bitch yet. I've noticed that he's done that a couple times where I've been like strange emphasis on that syllable. But I just kind of ignored it, I guess. But I, I, I mean, I can only not say something for so long. You know me. I'm a little blabber mouth over here. Oh. Sniper rifle ammo, thank you very much. And this is all blue. Some of these, I'm not gonna worry too much about like bluing all the red rooms because I just don't think that that's practical. There's there's so much red that I'm dealing with here and not enough, not enough time to go through everything. And I mean, it's just gonna be like more ammo and stuff. And at a certain point, I just don't really feel like I need that. Oh my god. Look at this jackass. Yeah, grenade launcher for you. Oh, don't tell me you blocked that. Getting close. What? Oh, my God, this guy's so ridiculous. How are you not dead yet, dude? You took so much damage. Where am I right now? Oh my god. Fuck off. How did he, <laughs> how did he, god, what? I hate that guy. Oh my god. No way. Oh wow. I know you guys are like, just don't fight him, but I got it. I gotta fight him. What are you doing? Wow. Okay. Did I get him? He is still going. I mean, we can just... We can just keep looping him here. <laughs> oh, I thought I was dead there. I knew it was one shot off. Perfect crystal mechanical heart. Yeah, how many perfect ones are there? Are they all perfect? God, getting back to the elevator is a pain in the ass. Shall I choose something for you? Yeah, maybe wake up first, okay? Let's get this, that. Look at all the money I'm gonna get. 25K, by the way. Yeah, you want Heisenberg's hammer? Ooh, where did you get your hands on such a thing? I don't know. I go out there and I do work. 
Ever heard of it? Securing goods is more important I basically, than anything. Anything, my friend. I basically do the opposite of what you do. <laughs> Lazy ass. I'm gonna get this. I'm get. I'm getting this upgrade here. The 1,200 damage One sniper upgrades. I am getting that. Also, um, should I get the magnum upgrade? Ooh, or maybe <sighs> the upgrades are so expensive now. I think we get the handgun upgrade too, uh, or power handgun power upgrade. Oh, it's fine. All finished. It is fine, Good isn't day, it? Then. I'm gonna save here. Thank you so much. Hell, we're about about nine hours in right now. Okay. So we probably got about an hour of the game left, ish. Um, of course, I've been playing fairly completionist and like going all over the place, trying to make sure that I get most things. Not every single little item, but most things. For example, uh, right here, I'm going to do this next. Where is it? Iron horse ball. Can I get rid of the photos of the strange animals and everything? Okay. Now, I haven't actually, like, lost at one of these yet. Okay. Come on. Okay. Just don't. Oh my. Oh, 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 oh. Turning it, turning it, yeah. Turning it some more. Stop, 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 stop. Turning it again. Right there, yes. Wait, what am I doing? Do I, do I come out of this? Oh, okay. Oh, gotcha. We're almost there. And I mean, this should be it, so here we go. Bister Skull. Nice. So I did all four labyrinths. I got all the ball puzzles done, and uh, I'm surprised no achievement or anything. Those were completely optional. Uh, I did all of them. Yes, yes. No, like, reward? I mean, I guess, you know, 30k, that's a pretty good reward, right? Should I get the recoil gun stock for the handgun? Looking forward to test. Yeah. Oh, and that reminds me. I gotta. Till next we meet. Where's the barrel? Yes, I forgot to do this. There we go. Nice. All right, I made it back to B1, and now we're gonna use Heisenberg's key again. This should be the end you of the really factory. Are a tough one. Thanks. Blind tired of chit chat. Time to die. Okay, I'm ready. You can hear it, can't you? Someone's waiting for you. Oh my god. Okay. So what do you do? Hmm. I see. So where am I oh my god? Uh, what is this? Oh my god. Okay, this is... Okay, this is... Annoying. Oh, I see. I see, okay. Okay. So you're an idiot. <laughs> so you're an idiot, okay. Come on, do it again. Let's just, just keep doing this over and over again. Come on. 
Hey Heisenberg, did you install a brain in this thing? I think that might have helped. Okay. Jeez. Oh my god, there's so much fire! I can't get past here. I might die, guys. I might die. Uh, I don't know what to do. Yeah, die. I couldn't do anything. What a boring... I'm really sorry, this is a great game, but what a boring boss battle. Okay. I think I also, like, tried too hard. You really are a tough one. Do we have to hear his, like, Redditor villain monologue? Okay, and like, how are you supposed to avoid damage here? Oh, like that? Okay, like that. Okay, and if you make him do that, then he only does the fire in like a, like a tiny, tiny area. But if you, if, if you mess up like that, then he does it everywhere else. Great. Where are you, dude? Oh my god. Wow. There's like no vulnerability um, segment with this guy right now. Like. You just have to wait for him to like cool down, I guess? Can you imagine one of those propellers hitting you? Ow. Okay, see, he's finally... He's finally not on fire anymore. But now he's back on fire. So go ahead and do it again. We're all very impressed. I'm pretty sure he's like completely invulnerable. Unless it's the back. He's only vulnerable to the back, pretty sure. <sighs> Caused so much destruction, young man. Did I get him? Stay down. Oh, I got him. That was very annoying. Complex mechanical heart. That was very irritating. Not a fun boss battle. Just kind of... Yeah. Annoying. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. Like... Just... Unenjoyable. I don't really like that thing, just in general. I don't really like fighting propeller head. First time I saw him, I was like, really? Okay, I mean, I'm not, I'm not the Resident Evil devs. <laughs> I guess they know best, but just from the outside looking in, I don't know. I wouldn't have gone with it. Cigar. Oh, this is Heisenberg's cigar. Is that a treasure? Cigar made in Cuba. It's really damp. Gross. Miranda is abominable. Her deceit knows no bound. We're merely a bunch of failed Cadu experiments to her. 
I was just lucky I had more affinity to the stuff than the other poor schmucks in the village. So she still calls me her son. What a joke. I'll never forgive her for what she did to me. That crazy bitch has never been right in the head. She can't see a difference between experiment and family. Miranda didn't just change my body. She took my dignity. If I don't kill her, then my life will never be my own. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> just trying to put weird emphasis on things. Uh. Still, she may be crazy, but she's also powerful. She can turn into anyone using the Mega My Seat. She can turn into anyone? Like Mia? Did Chris kill Mother Miranda masquerading as Mia? Mia's alive! The trick is that brat, Rose. If I could access her power, then maybe. Speaking of, the kid's dad, Ethan, has a pretty interesting body himself. Uh, maybe I can get him to help me out. Uh, it, it's weird. Every time Heisenberg talks to me, I feel like he's hitting on me, so... <laughs> Sagan, that, yes, that I have an interesting body. It's just kind of strange. Just kind of a strange thing to say. Uh, not interested, buddy. What? Do you hear that? That's a goat. Oh. Okay. You thought I wouldn't notice. Got it. Yeah, you thought I wouldn't notice. But I did. Oh. Shotgun ammo, and we're all good in here. Okay. So, are we actually gonna get to fight Heisenberg, or has he fled? Something tells me we're about to find out. Okay. Oh. Weird, I thought that we were gonna get a boss fight here, but I guess not. I guess we just... All right. What am I doing? Here goes. We're going up. And now what? Here? Yeah! All right. There's actually, there's nothing here. <laughs> this is, this, I thought. Oh, it's storming now? Mmm. Dude, there's nothing over here. Oh, we're, we're back at the entrance. What the? Yeah, it's Magneto, dude. I don't know what he's doing, but... Not bad. Not bad, Rogers. You're persistent. But I've got a rebellion. So stay out of my way. I'm sorry, is he... Does he have a body made out of metal? Good thing there was water there. Convenient plot water. My favorite. Let's go. That bastard. Yeah. Dude, we spent this entire time going from the bottom of this stupid factory to the top, and now we're back at the bottom? Started from the Again? bottom. Started from the bottom, now we're here. Still at the bottom. Alright. Well. I guess let's try to get back. It's 
really dark down here. Remove. Okay. <laughs> you got this, Ethan? Who's there? Chris? Chris! I told you to leave it alone, Ethan! You are in the way. What do you care, Chris? You killed my wife. You killed my wife, you son of a bitch! You think I killed Mia? That wasn't her. It was Mother Miranda. It was Mother Miranda. Miranda. What? She's a bioweapon. She changed her appearance and pretended to be Mia. That was what I... It was See, from the note. She also survived being shot, so now I'm here to finish the job. Bullshit! Why don't you fucking tell me right away? Because I knew you would want to be involved. And this job is hard enough without civilians getting in the way. I'm not a civilian, dude. Why us, Chris? What else do I gotta do to prove what it? What the hell is going on? All right, Ethan. All right. I guess I owe you an explanation. Yes! Hand me that wrench. Are we gonna get to hear the explanation? What's going Long on? Long story short, oh. Miranda's fucking insane. In this village, okay. all these monsters and freaks, this is her life's work. Some sort of crazy experiment with the mold. The mold. Okay. Like Louisiana. God damn it. All this time, I thought I could save my family. I can't escape from here. I can't do anything! That might not be true. I have Take questions this. after this. I have questions after this. I men sent those pictures a few minutes ago. Miranda. Keep looking. Rose? Yeah? Rose. Holy shit, we gotta go! Relax, my men are monitoring the situation. But they have my daughter. You don't get anything. You don't stand a chance against Miranda by yourself. I will stay down here and finish planting explosives. You take that elevator, I'll meet you topside. I promise you, we will get your daughter back. Together. Damn straight we will. And when I find Miranda, she's a dead woman. All right, Ethan. Then you take this. And do me a favor. Try to stay under the radar. I like how Chris is in like a big life or death situation. People exploding all around him. He's still popping the collar though. And if that pop gets ruined, he's like, oh, oh, and he repops it. Like when we were <laughs> when we were in Moreau's reservoir and he got like smacked by the fish. Like, right after he was like, oh, I can't believe that happened. Repop. <laughs> that was the first thing he did was repop his collar. Okay. I have a couple questions about this. So that was Miranda. How long has that been Miranda? Well, Miranda says that Rose is her baby. Does that mean that Ethan and mother Miranda birthed a child together? Or did she like just randomly like, kidnap me and then move in about three days ago. <laughs> you know? I thought she was being weird in that first scene. I was like, I don't remember her being like this. I know that marriage can change people, and especially having a kid can. But she wasn't like this before. Strange. Hmm. Two. Hound Wolf Squad. The sweep of the factory is complete. No proof of any connection with the organization. Guess this just wasn't our lucky day. I did manage to get my hands on a number of documents disclosing some of Miranda's experiments, which support our previous theories. She seems to have infected herself with the Mutamycete, which has granted her a number of abilities, including Mimicry. She can control her cells and transform herself to look like anyone or anything. She disguised herself as Mia and infiltrated the Winters' home. Her objective was clearly to kidnap Rose. Maybe she thought she could control Rose easier if she looked like her mom. Okay, so... Mother Miranda didn't actually birth Rose. They weren't just, like, playing house. So when did she infiltrate the home? 
When we attacked, it put a little damper on her plans, so she mimicked a corpse. She then revived herself in the transport truck, killed everyone on board, and took off with Rose. But she left Ethan alive. It says, killed everyone on board. But she didn't, though. Unless we were in a ran uh, unless we were in a different transport truck, but then our guy was dead too. Things didn't go the way she had originally planned, but in the end, she still got what she wanted. Until now, it's time to rendezvous and blow this place sky high. This might turn into a fight with Heisenberg, but I think I found something useful. He left one of his little toys laying around, and it's even made from a metal polymer composite, which he can't control. Time to turn the tables. Alpha. Oh, okay, so it's a so he can control metal, but a metal polymer composite. Oh no no no, he can't control that. I understand. So that's the key to victory then. First aid med, thank you. I'm still reeling from that stupid propeller head fight. I'm sorry, I really didn't like that. That's like the first part of the game where I was like, I'm not having fun. You know? Oh. Oh wait, no, this is the way I came in, sorry. I guess this is like the point of no return? Because you have to hold down F for a long time there. Metal polymer composite, huh? Time to fight fire with fire. I'm coming, Rose. Uh... Whoa! Uh, okay, so, oh, okay, it automatically goes. I was like, am I supposed to press the button in this thing? Look, I got a chainsaw at the end. I don't know why. Oh, it's for guarding! Okay, I understand. Let's go, Eisenberg! And I get full 360 motion in this thing. Can probably blast the gate open. Okay. You're like a goddamn cockroach. Thanks, you dude. Think you can take me on. Fine. This will be my warm before I kill the bitch. Let's settle this. Man and man. Your corpse will be another addition to my armor. <laughs> Did it? So gotcha. Oh, don't give up. <laughs> so this is the power of fatherly love. Yeah, sure. It's called being a in a real family, Whoa. Heisenberg. Whoa. Okay. I'm fine with that. You're still talking? <laughs> You're still talking, dude? Nope. Not even close, dude. I hate to tell you this. That's like Doesn't even tell. Ah, okay. Is it? I mean, are you, when are you going to actually start fighting me? You know? Oh, did I miss? I missed it.
Oh no. Did I get him? Like that. Here we go, sir. Now stretch. Well, what do you think? It's hopeless. Right? Just give up. Flesh and blood will never win against me. This isn't. <laughs> Who's in the middle of monologuing? Who's in the mo middle of monologuing? And I got him. <laughs> you okay, bud? Oh no. Okay. You really should have taken my deal. You will be foes in the afterlife. Damn, what am I supposed to do here? Right after I murdered the rat. What power are they talking about? <laughs> Did you hear that? He said you were funeral! This can't be the end for me! I must kill her! Uh, how can you do that when you're dead, though? Wow. Crystal Heisenberg. I got an achievement. Iron Giant down. Who is it? Who's calling? Alpha. Is Alpha Mia? I heard explosions. Oh, it's Chris. What the hell happened? I dealt with Heisenberg. Now I'm gonna find Miranda and get Rose back. Not without me. It's too dangerous. Dude, Chris, Wait I don't there, need you. you. Hear me? I don't need you. Ethan? Rose? Ethan! Ethan, respond! It's Miranda. It's Miranda. This is... Oh. Mia? What? Our child. She's so important, isn't she? She's everything to me. <laughs> and mine to me. With Heisenberg gone, you've lost your lead. What are you going to do? I don't know, but I'm saving Rose. You'd never know, do you? Even when I took Mia's place in your home. Poor Ethan. Who are you? Where's Rose? <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's the... It's the Mutamycete oh, stuff. Enough. Miranda's kind of hot. Remember Evelyn and her power over them all? Rose is her successor. No. Oh. Rose is Evelyn's true, complete form. What? She will grow to fully control them. <laughs> And I must have her. Fuck you, you crazy bitch! <laughs> Great comeback, Ethan. You got her good. Calm yourself. Rose will be saved. The Mega My Seat catalogs all of us. However, she will be reborn as my daughter. She's my child, not yours. Where are you? Show yourself! Why did Rose come to be? Was oh. it because of her parents? Oh, she was the old and woman. And you are truly a special case. But mm. I've learned all I can from you. Your worth as a lab rat has run out. Miranda! You coward! Come on and face me! Uh. Don't worry. You're deaf. You will join the Mega My Seeds records. Did she just pull out my heart? I will make sure to sample your blood for later. Once dawn breaks, 
the ceremony will be complete, and I will become her true mother, bound for eternity in blood. <laughs> Did you just crush my heart in your hands? And cover your face with my crushed heart's blood? I've waited so long. But dreams really can come true. See, this is why I wanted Lady so nice. Dimitriska to I do. I can't wait to see my true child again. I'm sorry, am I dead? That's the end. Is that the end? No. Are they doing... They're doing a thing. They did this in... I'm surprised that they're doing this, because they did this in Resident Evil 7, too. Remember? Captain, I've confirmed the death of Ethan Winters. No. I wasn't able to retrieve the body, believe it. but I've recorded evidence. Share your screen, and I'll go over the situation. Are they on Discord right now? My team and I were careless. Yesterday, we took down the transformed Miranda, but we didn't kill her. Who knew she could fake being a corpse? Since Miranda could have infected Ethan, I forcefully took him and Rose with us. But the vehicle they were riding in was attacked. When I got to the wreck, Ethan and Rose were gone. Are we playing as Chris time, now? I was able to contact Ethan. I heard Miranda's voice. She murdered him. And she is not gonna get away with it. Are we playing as Chris? I think we are. God oh. damn it, when does it end? <laughs> oh. Sensor, the mission? <laughs> he smokes cigarettes? All of it. What did this happen? Three years trying to put this thing in the ground. I'd probably smoke Three if I was him too. Long. I mean, if you if you'd been through like the original mansion and the squad's ready for you. everything, all the events in Resident Evil Five, Resident Evil Six, and then now this, yeah, I'd probably smoke too. So BSAA got here already. They didn't waste any time. Okay. Machine adjustment. Wait. No, it doesn't change anything. All right. Terminate Miranda. And rescue Rose. Wait, but the That's BS. The mission. And failure's not an option. Let's have some fun, people. Like old times. Move out. Roger. Yes, okay. The BSAA. K9, I want to know what the hell BSAA is doing here. Find out what you can. Roger that. I'm on it. Yeah, I'm. Been a while since we fought together, Captain. When was it last? The desert? Doing nothing but recon's gotten me out of shape. But thanks to your recon, we know Miranda's plan. Couldn't quite believe it when I heard she turned herself into Mia, though. Taking five shots to the head's nothing to sneeze at either. Spooky. I love I love the little back and forth here. Oh my god. Look at all this. Whoa. The Dragoon, a fully automatic capable rifle. And I got I got a cool knife. Okay, let's see. Um, I got grenades. What is this? Unable to use. I guess I'll come back to that. All right. So, all right. So yeah, Ethan is dead. I'm sure he is. The guy has like tons of regenerative powers. I think maybe even Tearing his heart out is not going to actually kill him. Look, there's all that stuff. The alpha. That's... Mm. The SAA. They've gone too far. Christ. It looks pretty rough. <laughs> the BSAA incompetent oh, as ever, I see. First, we're gonna have to take that thing out. I've got your back, boss. Let's get to work. <laughs> All right, bud. Everyone, watch for hostile bioweapons. Roger. I got an achievement, mathematician. Oh, like mathematician. Get it? Do you get it? This guy doesn't get it. So I find it interesting that um, 
the BSAA still exists. I Men just assumed. Oh, dude, whatever. Oh my god, they went down so fast. I just kind of assumed since Chris was with Blue Umbrella that uh, the BSAA was no longer a thing. So for anyone that doesn't know, like uh, Chris was in the BSAA for like a good portion of the Resident Evil games in five and in six. He was in the BSAA, and they're not exactly a, like a gigantic organization. He was in there with Jill and... So... Interesting, I wonder if there's some kind of like... Roger that. Some kind of fracture with the classic Resident Evil characters, or like, why that's happening. Oh, this is the music... This is the music from the first trailer, the very first one. Oh! Dude! This is Louise's house! Alright, so we're back in the village, let's go. What the wow. hell is that thing? It's all new to my seat. Yep. That's probably what the red is. Let's go. Alright, yeah, sure, here I go. I'm Chris, I'm an action hero. Time to blow everything up and set it on fire. Large mutated bioweapon sight. Oh my god. The bomb may be releasing infectious particulates. Keep your masks on. Hey boss, it's me. I'm at the location preparing for support fire. What? Leaving to had eyes on Miranda too. Sorry, who's talking right now? Whatever. Oh my god. Oh what? Dude, that's an insane. That's an insane amount of ammo. Are you kidding me? Alright. I'll go this way, I guess. Okay, now where is that? Uh, okay, I'll go this way. Oh my god. Yeah, I, I mean, I guess compared to this, Ethan is a civilian. Damn. Wow. I mean, <laughs> it's crazy just gunning these guys down. Look at all this action, guys. What were you waiting for? He just like stood there the whole time until I killed him. Hey, I get eyes on boss. Yeah. Are we good? I haven't been touched this whole time. I'm too good. Do I need the comments? Y'all are like bad Let's Players. <laughs> if my mama saw this. Shut up. It's like they thought, oh, there wasn't enough action. Dude, Chris. All right, Lobo. Marking the target. Roger that, boss. Okay, I guess. I don't know. I guess that lichen just doesn't exist anymore. Reloading now. 
Just a minute. There's a swarm headed that way. <laughs> really? You're not gonna give me a... Uh... Oh my god, dude. Dude! Yeah, I will. Okay, yeah. I will. Everyone okay? They're coming from the mold. You know, this reminds me of like Gears of War? The Hammer of Dawn, anyone? Wow. Oh my god, what? Holy shit. Uh, yeah, give me a sec. Give me a sec. Damn. What? Dude, you guys just like appeared out of nowhere. I saw you spawn into existence. Unbelievable. Yeah? Okay. Here we go. Dude, why'd you say that like your parents were in the next room? Ah, boom! I don't want to wake my parents up. Boom! Oh, we kicked their ass, dude. Bunch of bitches. I hope my mom doesn't hear me say that. Where are we going? Oh. This way? Now what? I found a way down. I'm going in, the rest of you stay back. We're going hey, in, Captain. really? I compared the mold of the village with a sample from the bakers and... Uh, it's there's the no same? sign of the genome editing we saw in the E-series. The stuff originated here. Really? <clears throat> well, Mother Miranda knows about Evie. I, in fact, she called her Evie, didn't she? Huh. By the way, I'm pretty sure I said something about all that. I'm pretty sure I predicted that Evie would have something to do with this, right? Particularly Rose. Guarding the mega seat, huh? Lobo, I got a tough guy here. I'm gonna need backup. Boss. There's an opening in the roof. Use it. Okay, I'm moving okay. out. Okay. Hold on to the there. Do I have to hit his back? Oh. I have to hit his back. Okay. Come on. Damn. Okay. How do I get behind him? I'm overhead, boss. Good. I'll signal with the locator. Break. Uh 
Let's go. Get him. Uh, okay. Alright. I'm not sure how that did damage to me, but... Sure. Okay, Captain. I'm reloading. Ready when you are. Let's do this. Okay, I'm not. Bro, I did not ask you to do it. Yeah, I killed him. Too late. I'll keep going. The rest of you stay above ground. Why do I have this? Who, am I gonna go sell it to the Duke? Is Chris gonna go transact business right now? Hey guys, quick pit stop. And he's gonna go sell it to the Duke? By the way, what's the Duke doing right now? Is he, uh... I guess he's skedaddling out of town right about now. So if Miranda was the fake Mia, where's the real one? I doubt she saw any further use for her. I don't get any of this. How did Miranda even know Rose exists? A moldy little bird told her, maybe? We can figure that out later. Focus on the plan. <laughs> They're like TV show fans in the background. <laughs> I don't get it. They like they're talking about their favorite characters. Um, but like, how did Miranda even know that Rose was there? That's a plot hole, if you ask me. Oh. I found it. It's the Mega My Seed. So let's shoot it. Or no? Oh, look at Chris. All that swagger. Time to blow something up. Out for the Chris's squad. favorite thing. We've located the Mega My Seed. So now we can end this mess after all. About damn time. And that's all it takes. And two explosives armed. There's enough there to blow the whole village sky high. Let's get out of here and blow the damn place. Not before I end Miranda. I'm not taking any more chances. I'm going in. Roger that. Standing by. Captain, I have eyes on Miranda at the ceremony site. Keep your distance. Do not move until I give the order. I know it's too late now, but we really should have told Ethan the plan. Yes! It time. And we didn't expect Miranda to act so soon. Even so, you should have told him. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You should have. You should have told him as, as soon as you shot Mia. In the head. In front of him. And kidnapped his daughter. You should have said, like, Actually, it's not what you think. Instead of like, Ethan, no. Like he was a bad dog. No, bad Ethan. This must be Miranda's lab. Oh, wow. Where are we? We're just underground somewhere? Look, it's the Cadu. Or Cado, rather, is how it's pronounced. So they're using this to control the bioweapons. Bulletproof glass. Really? Wow, that must be expensive. Every jar is bulletproof? Oh my god. Okay. Uh... Salvatore Moreau. Cado affinity low, brain functions surprisingly low. We're gonna get to find out more about the Four Lords. The Cado has caused drastic changes to internal organs, transforming them into organs similar to fish-like gills and a swim bladder. Another subject with irregular cell division, causing him to transform into a giant fish. The subject is unable to control his transformation. Too many defects. An unfit vessel for Ava. Oh, I thought she called her Evie. Is it Ava? Okay. And they got their different family crests. Alcina Dimitrescu. Ah, our favorite. Cado Affinity. Most favorable. Brain functions. Normal. Uh-huh. Not smart. Regeneration rate is incredibly fast. The subject can heal any external wound within seconds and grow her nails into claws in mere moments. Rapid regeneration also means an increased body size. Don't we know it? 
Note, due to a hereditary blood disease, the subject must ingest human flesh and blood on a regular basis to maintain regeneration properties. See, Ethan, this is where you could have provided for her. Now, you know, we'll never know. I suspect that if the subject's regeneration is not properly balanced, then she may mutate uncontrollably. An unfit vessel for Ava. Hmm. Okay. Okay, subject name, Carl Heisenberg. Cato affinity, incredibly favorable. Brain function's normal. He's not smart either. Has electric organs similar to the electric ray. I'm sorry, huh? Narke Japonica. These electric organs are connected to the subject's nervous system. Can therefore pass and control electricity throughout the entire body, allowing controlled magnetic fields, which is used to move metal. Okay, sure. Splendid specimen, but still an unfit vessel for Ava. Why are you so obsessed? Donna Beneviento. Favorable affinity, brain function is normal, although severe mental illness. Physically, she is no different from a regular human. However, she can secrete a signal producing substance which controls plants infected by the mutamycete. When humans absorb the pollen from a particular flower, she can cause them to have hallucinations, which is the entirety. So basically, House Beneviento, there was no, like none of those dolls were moving or talking. They were all hallucinations. That baby, hallucination, huh. However, she is mentally underdeveloped and has divided her caddo among her dolls in order to control them from a distance. Oh. Well then, wait. Well then they were in the dolls too. I don't know, an unfit vessel for Ava. See, I thought that whole thing was just a big hallucination, I guess. Not? Okay. So who's this? Is that Miranda? Is that Miranda with Evie? Uh, I think it might be. Yeah, I think that's Evelyn. I wish there was something written on the other side. I like this massive lore dump here. So what is this? They're, they look like they're up in the mountains somewhere. Dear Miranda, my deepest apologies for not meeting you in person. I would love nothing more than to visit your quaint village once more. However, I am incredibly busy. Then again, I suppose for an immortal woman such as yourself, you no longer remember this poor half-dead medical student in the snow. I have always cherished the revelations I came to 15 years ago when I stayed in your village. This is what they were talking about. Remember, we saw we, we read like a note way earlier that was like, could it have something to do with that guy? Because because uh, they were wondering about the umbrella logos. Is this Albert Wesker? I was inspired by or or Spencer. I was inspired by your research to think one could transform a human by infecting them with an organism. Positively visionary. I knew that with that knowledge, I could achieve my own vision for the next step in human evolution. Even after two world wars and humanity on the cusp of another, my conviction never wavered. Oh, this could have big ramifications. I realized, however, through the many nights of intellectual talks you and I shared, that your conviction differed from mine. You hoped to bring back a single dead person, while I aimed to change the world. Your experiments on the mold would not have aided me in my endeavor to achieve an exponential infection. I thought a virus would be more effective. This is why, my dear, I had to leave you. I still regret never telling you goodbye. My apologies for reminiscing. I actually have news that I thought might please you. I have found the key to evolution, the progenitor of virus found in Africa. I plan to start a company with friends and colleagues dedicated to the virus research. I will call it Umbrella. Just like the symbol in the cave that we spoke about. What? This is where the Umbrella logo comes from? I am one step closer to making my vision a reality. I hope you will be able to achieve your goal someday too. You taught me so much and for that will be forever in your debt. Sincerely, your lifelong student, Oswell E. Spencer. What? Whoa. That's huge. So, wow. Spencer, here. 
No way. Great reaction, Chris. You know, I, I would think of anyone reading that note, possibly the only uh, person that would, I, I would expect to have like a bigger reaction to that is maybe Jill. <laughs> I don't know. Well, actually, no. Actually, it would be you, Chris. W wasn't he, oh, am I misremembering Resident Evil 5, but wasn't he with Spencer in his final moments? Look, yeah, there's Evelyn. And there's Miranda. There's the team. Okay, there's, uh... So I don't recognize any of the dudes, but there's Evelyn in the foreground, and Miranda, and then there's Mia on the far right. My Ava, it's been 100 years since I lost you to the Spanish flu. I was so powerless back then, but now, now I can bring you back to life from the Mutamycete. I had to test your new vessel's regenerative abilities. I took her apart and revived her in the Mega Mycete regular, the Giant's Chalice. All that is left is to merge her with the Mega Mycete. The ceremony can finally begin. So this isn't about Evelyn, it's about Ava. Okay, so I misunderstood then. After I lost you, I was so stricken with grief that I wandered into a cave to die. I wish you had. I so wanted to be with you again. And that's why I found it, the Mega Mycete, completely by accident. When I touched the black substance, my mind was overcome with knowledge. The Mega Mycete breaks down and absorbs the consciousness of those who have perished. I knew that if your consciousness was in there too, then there would be a br way to bring you back. I just needed the right vessel. When I returned to the village, I implanted the villagers with mold from the Mega Mycete. That way I could control them, experiment on them, right? So they'd have like a hive mind. I have experimented on hundreds of people just to find you the perfect vessel. I even tried to increase the efficiency of finding a vessel by creating a parasite I called Cadeau. Yet none of my experiments came to fruition. There were some, like Alcina, who were close to being perfect, but most turned into lichens. So interesting. I remember early on I thought that maybe Dimitrescu was a tyrant. That was like one of my very early theories. Um, and it's interesting that the tyrant was considered like the perfect, like the ultimate um, organism for the T-virus, right? For, for Spencer's T-virus. But then, and then here, she's close to being perfect for her Mega My Seat. So, it's interesting that the Tyrant and Dimitrescu are so similar, physically. For, from, from two completely different sources, from two completely different people. Who were trying to do completely different things. Hmm. I was once approached by an organization who said they would assist me. I gave them some of the mold and your DNA. An organization who said they would assist me. Umbrella? But all they created was another defect, Evelyn. Then again, not a complete failure. I learned of Rose thanks to them, and I knew she would be the perfect vessel. Why? There was some interference, but I was able to verify her suitability. Now my research is finally complete. Ava, I have waited too long to see you again. So, when Moreau was saying her daughter, and I think Donna might have said her daughter too. I don't know. Uh, they were talking about Ava. Mmm. Very confusing. Have we gotten everything in here? Oh, oh. Okay. There's a couple questions I have, like, is Mia still alive? Um, is Ethan still alive? I think he is. And... What's up with the BSAA, dude? What's up with the BSAA? What's up with Blue Umbrella? I wish we knew more about that. Anyway. Okay, I think I get it. I'm ready to move on. It's Mia! Show me your hands! Umbrise, this is Alpha. Where is Miranda right now? Still at the ceremony site. Whatever she's doing, she's staying put. God damn. It really is you. I'm glad you saved Mia. Why are you here? I was caught. 
Houston experiments. Wait, did you say Mia? Mia Winters? In the flesh. What's the situation up there? Kind of a war going on. Nothing we can't handle. Don't get distracted. Stick to the mission. I'm headed to the ceremony site. Wait. You can't leave me here. You promised, damn it! You said that you would keep us safe. We did everything that you asked. We moved over here, everything! And I didn't care. So long as we were together. So you tell me, where is my husband? Where is my daughter? Ethan is... He's gone. I couldn't save him. But I can save Rose. Come on. It's not safe here after all. What do you mean he's gone? He's dead. I'm sorry, Mia, but we have to leave. We have to destroy this village. No! You're wrong. I tried to keep this a secret, but... You don't understand how special he is. I told y'all. What did I say? What did I say? I'm in my camera because it looked like she was she was over. She kept hanging out in this corner. I was like, leave. So I'm going to do the other one. Come on. I didn't buy this for a second. No way. What's going on? Yeah, you don't have a heart, dude. So it's there. Is that Evelyn? I keep wanting to. He I keep wanting to see her it's again. Cold. Weirdly, that sounded like her little, little shit giggle, though. Where am I going? How did I get here? I don't know. God. Freezing. Yeah, right. Are you thirsty, dude? Shit, my body. You're so dumb. Here it is. There. Hello. Long time no see. How are you here? It's just the mountain plants, dude. You're dead. <laughs> dead? Uh, I mean, Miranda. She. Uh, no. I still have to save Rose. Wrong! <laughs> it wasn't Miranda. You were always dead. What are you saying? I can still... What? See? Miranda didn't kill you. You mean you didn't think it was weird? No matter how much you got hurt? Remember. Resident Evil 7! Three years ago, the Baker House. When did I die? Were murdered by Jack. What? You died there three years ago. Th that's, that's impossible. No way. Huh. <laughs> So we're the zombie. Be able to walk around. Quit messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you! <laughs> what, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose, Mia, I. Now, 
Do you get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. And that's why Rose is special? Family. Because Mia and a family. dead guy who is nothing but mold made a baby? No. Rose. I have to save my daughter. You're already dead. <laughs> dead. <laughs> 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 I, I will save Rose. <sighs> we were the zombie all along. The real zombie were the lessons we learned along the way. Ha <laughs> ha. Yeah, that's uh, quite the twist. You know, I just thought he had, like, mega regenerative powers, but... So he's... dead. At last, he awakes! The Duke? Where am I? What's going My on? Carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and I'm already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Seem, seems fine to Speaking me. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. You're a dude with a bad bowl cut. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? What do you mean? My old world. Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. Well, hang on a second. There's tons of ammo here. And look, we can still go to the shop. Is more important now than ever before. Oh, uh, that's funny. Uh, let's sell some stuff. Hey, how'd I get this giant crystal mace? Wait a second, I thought Chris got this. Crystal mechanical heart. Crystal Heisenberg. What a twisted guy. And the cigar, okay. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. <sighs> because of all this commotion, I've lost an entire territory to transact in. I haven't heard him say that before. Wow. Um, so what should I... What should I get? I've got quite a lot of money. I'm thinking maybe just going for firepower on everything. So like, it's 98,000, but an extra 10 on every handgun shot. Or I could go for fifteen hundred on the sniper. I think that might be better. And an extra three hundred on every sniper shot. Yeah. And then I don't know. I mean, an extra two hundred on every magnum shot because we're probably going to use it. Modification can be done in just a moment. No more firepower that I can do. Uh. I'll do rate of fire on the Magnum. Sure. Ah, oh, it's fine. All finished. Okay. Please be well. Thanks. Thanks, dude. Duke. <laughs> oh. Okay, I played the entire game without knowing this, but you press Q to do a quick turn. Was that an RE7? 
Was that like a thing? Oh my god. All right. Um, well, let's keep going. Looks like we're gonna finish the game in this video. Hello? Gonna finish the game in this video? That's right. Okay, hang on. This has been bothering me. What? No! The box here, I never got to open it! Remember in like part three or something, there was a box? What key was for it? Oh, very annoying. Alright, fine. Alright, we're going to the ceremony site. Out of my way. Die. Not even gonna give me anything, wow. Here we go. I wonder if I look like these guys. Man, I can- I already know. I don't think it's stupid. But, I know right now a lot of people think that the twist that he's actually dead is really stupid. Hmm. I gotta keep going. I think it's interesting. I'm hoping that we get more details about it. Like, he's dead? Okay. But... How is he able to still be moving around? Little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Eva, is that you? Oh, how I've missed you. Gross. What? She's not alive, dude. My power is leaving me. Rose! Miranda! Interesting. Your body certainly isn't normal. Hey, you already knew all that. How did you not know this? to me. No! You will see. Once I kill you properly, everything. Get her now! Oh, interrupted your monologue. I've spent a lifetime creating this moment. Show me your face. And you try to take it away from me. Ooh. I will take what is due. My desires will be fulfilled. No. Rose is mine! What the fuck? It's so weird. Oh, now she's a monstrosity. Look at her. You fulfilled your purpose, Mr. Rose. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious Megamice. Now, please do not worry, little Rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with true things. Okay. So now you can die in this. Not let you get away. Oh, 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 no, no. I don't think so. Oh, oh, oh. You understand the level of a parent to a child? How can you deny me? Why the hell can't you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? Cease this foolishness. Ow. Oh. I've never seen a human live without his heart. Are you sure? Pretty sure. The Megamite saved me from the pits of despair. Come on. He granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive you nuts. Is that good? <laughs> oh, oh, watch out. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. What's that? 
Sniper rifle ammo? Okay. <laughs> oh, great mega mice! Hear my prayer! Yeah, we got her so far. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got her. Where are you? Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time to let rooms in my house. Ooh. Oh, rest now. I don't like this. The hell I will. Die, 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 die. Very annoying. <laughs> I will take back my daughter. <sighs> <laughs> Where are you? I understand you? your feelings, Miss White. Damn. This is... If I combine Rose with a Mega Mycet, my daughter will be made manifest at Dude, last. do you ever shut the Every fuck up? A century. a century. All for this day. Yeah, 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 she's talking, she's talking. Shut up. So close to death. She's my goddamn daughter, you psycho. <laughs> just keep saying the same thing, dude. Ow, 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 ow. Curse this ram Ow, what? Okay. How about this? <laughs> no. All right, we got tons of sniper, sniper ammo. Oh my god! You won't interfere. <laughs> you won't interfere. <laughs> She's Your so funny. Time is up. Now die. Ow! Uh, wow. God, you're so annoying. Why won't you die? Won't you die? <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> Die, die, die. Did I finally get her? To ensure I never see your face. <laughs> How many shots does it take? I guess that many. Bye bye. Oh, baby. Rose. <laughs> Rose is upset. It's it's all right, Rose. It's all right. No. Now we die for real. We never see Ethan's face. They never show it. Ethan. Is it because he's dead? So we're finally gonna Ethan. get to see his zombie face? Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. Oh no. Chris. Ethan. He did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. I'm sorry, we're not done yet. Oh, 
Oh my god. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Oh good. We don't have to hey, fight. Look it. at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. Ah, damn it. Mia's waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. <laughs> And you tell yourself. Now come on, it's not that much further. Watch over her. Teach her to be strong. God damn it. Oh, this is the end for Ethan, huh? Goodbye, Rosemary. Ethan. Hmm. Is it gonna make me do it? Is it gonna make me click? To set off the bomb? Just in time for the helicopter ride into the go. sunset. Go, oh take yeah. Us up now. Oh yeah, let's go. Bonus points if it's over water. Wait! Where's Ethan? This helicopter yeah, ride into the sunset has a clear. much different no, tone. We can't go, not without my husband. Mia, sit down and strap in. Not before you tell me where Ethan is. I know he wouldn't abandon us. Tell me what's going on. Where? What was that? I told you to sit down. Chris doesn't like explaining things Where to is people. He? He's gone. That's right. right. He stayed so we could all escape. I'm sorry. Captain. You need to see this. BSAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. What the hell were they thinking? What? What is going on Orders, over at the Captain. BSAA? Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. Are we still going? Someone's got to pay. What, so it's going to be the BSAA? Okay. Helicopter into the sun. Sunrise, rather. Not sunset, but sunrise. Oh, so that was that was a DLC teaser then. I'm gonna play this again. I thought this animatic at the beginning, this an or this animation, was very cool. By the way, this is like some Tim Burton shit. It looked really nice, like very well done. Hmm. Okay. Well, 
Strange. Strange ending sequence. I didn't think that they were gonna kill off Ethan. You know, I thought that they were gonna be like, setting this up for Resident Evil 9. To like... Oh! It's the same- wait, it's the same story, but in song form. I didn't catch that till just now. Interesting. Right, and all of these monsters represent the four lords. The bat is Dimitrescu, the dark weaver is Donna and Angie, the fish thing is Moreau, the iron steed is Heisenberg. So what, did Mother Miranda write this story? I mean, she's immortal, she's been around for a long time. Took, she snarled, so more in turn is due. In a blink, the girl was trapped inside a mirror. Her parents, though, had searched all day and at last arrived. With rampant rage, father fought the witch, while mother's loving touch shattered the dark enchantment. But the witch was strong, and father yelled, save our daughter. So mother bore their child to safety as the forest was consumed. Wow, so... Even now, the burnt forest is a grim reminder of father's sacrifice. To this day, any child who stares too long into the charred wasteland will be haunted by nightmares of getting lost while picking berries. Okay, so was that in Miranda's original tale? Eesh. Okay, um, lead gimmick artist. Gimmick artists? What gimmicks? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay, well that was, uh, heck. All eyes on me in the center of the ring, just like a circus. Sometimes it, it doesn't focus on me. Um, yeah, so that was very interesting. I actually really liked Village. Overall, just my my initial reaction to this after just playing through it the first time. I actually really liked it. I, I still, I prefer Seven. I only compare them because they're very comparable. I think Village is more of a conventional Resident Evil game in a lot of ways. Mostly because it borrows a lot from Resident Evil 4, but it has obviously updated it to, you know, a first-person form and kind of a more modernized take, less arcadey and more like this gritty, you know, gray-toned, fucking uber-serious, modern AAA video game. Um, kind of stylization that we have with a lot of other games these days, you know? And basically, like, Resident Evil 4 got, like, The Last of Us 2 treatment. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense to anyone else, but that's that's how I think of it. Um, yeah, interesting. I, I did like it. I liked it more than I thought I would, honestly. I kind of thought it was going to be a bit cheesier than it was, just from what I played in the demos. Um, I thought it was gonna be a lot cheesier with like a lot more side characters and it was gonna kind of bring that Resident Evil corniness and it it did a little bit, but it didn't It, it didn't lean in on it, it as much as I thought it would Again, I still I still prefer seven just because I really like sevens subtle like backwoods rural atmosphere It's kind of got that like like true detective season one swamp like just 
despair to it. And that's kind of missing from this. This is more action oriented, more like spectacle. You know, you got vampires and werewolves and you got this, you know, big tall lady and you got this guy that can turn into a fish and then you got the puppets and the the magneto guy and crow lady and there's all these it's it's much more um theatrical i guess than re7 which i know some may not like some may have wanted them to stay kind of that more serious atmospheric horror type of thing that seven had uh a bit more of although you know seven Seven only had that for like about half the game, in my opinion, and then it kind of, it went off the rails. It was, it got really, it leaned in hard on the action in the second half. Especially like the ship, the salt mines, all that stuff in the seventh game. And, uh, you know, while Village was a bit more heavy on the action, I did like it. And I think that it did, it did bring the atmosphere when it needed to. But Resident Evil's never really been a scary video game series to me. And I think that 7 and 8 are probably the scariest games in the series. I don't know, maybe there's some there's some in like one remake. There's some parts in one remake that I think rival what's in these past two games, but I don't know. I know some people might knock the game not being scary enough, but Resident Evil's always been kind of more about like that uh, horror adjacent sort of action, I would say, than it has been, like, pure atmospheric horror. So, I don't know, that's just my take on that. Uh, yeah, overall, I really liked it, though. I do have some questions, though. I really thought it was gonna go, it really seemed like it was gonna go the psychological horror route. I don't know if I fully believed that it was going to, because I said a couple times throughout the playthrough that, like, I don't think they'll do that, but it really seems like they're setting it up that way. Um... I am surprised that they killed Ethan. As, you know, as soon as Chris Redfield shows up, the action gets turned up to 11, and that happens every time. I am curious to see what DLC comes out for this, because one of the reasons I love Resident Evil 7 so much is because the DLC is so, so good. Like, almost without exception, the DLC is so good. Even, even the really silly ones, like Jack's 55th birthday, are just really fun to play and they're really good like they're just fun it's it's some of the best dlc i've ever played so i'm really curious to see what they do for this if it's going to be similar like amounts of dlc or what because i would love to play mini games with with these four lords you know and and kind of see more from them and maybe their own personalized mini games. Uh, with that said, we do get mercenaries in this game. And I think that's unlocked after finishing the game. Let's see if there's a, here we go. There's her wedding ring. Wait. Do you think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? This is Rose. Oh, touch the moon is too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay, then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cold. Okay, if this is Rose, you were being silly. And this is like, think the moon feels like fifteen to twenty years in the future. <laughs> what could they possibly be showing us here? She's going to the graveyard to put flowers on Ethan's grave. Wow, it's so convenient. Hey, Happy birthday. It's so close to the road. Sorry mm. I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. <laughs> Give her a second. Goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. Duty calls. Who are you involved with? Yeah, I found her. Where else? 
Oh, shut up. Of all days. We have a situation. You're needed, Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. I can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. Oh, shut up, Wesker a... Jr. Way to keep it together, Rose. I would have lost it on this asshole, too. You're a lot like him, you know. Who? What? I didn't know you. I never yeah. met you. Please show Ethan's hand reaching out of the ground <laughs> to close out the game. Okay, I wasn't really paying a whole lot of attention. Did he have any, like, pins or badges for what organization he was with? Wait, look, there's somebody up there. Who's that? Who's that? No, 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 no. What was that? That was weird. Did you guys see that? In the distance, there was somebody coming up to the... the truck. The father's story is now done. I got a couple of achievement. Great dad, best dad ever. Just over 10 hours, check it out. Of course, that's 10 hours of like actual gameplay, not in menus, it doesn't count menu time, so. It was actually quite a bit more than that. Um, unlocked content, uh, extra content shop, concept art, figures, challenges. Challenges and extra content shop, whoa. Complete challenges, listen to the challenge menu in order to receive completion points. Completion points can be exchanged for a variety of bonuses. New game mode, weapons, concept art, figures, etc. New movies added, ooh, movies. Village of Shadows full version. Creating the Village of Shadows, level design Resident Evil Village, visual, oh, wow, lots of behind the scenes stuff. You get the following weapon from the extra content shop, WCX. Oh my god, I've got 65,000 completion points. What the hell? Wait, wait, wait. Okay, I'll do save data here. And... Uh, Oh, there's no long- Oh, no, there is! There's still the Scarecrow. And then we're back to... the regular menu. Wow, look at all this. Figures. You know who I'm looking for. First thing. <laughs> oh, no, we have to buy them. We have to buy them. Extra content shop? Extra game? The Mercenaries for 10? Yes! Here we go. Let's buy it. Oh, we're buying. We're buying them. <laughs> I went straight there. Varkolak. Oh, that was that Muppet thing that I never killed. Okay, cool. Uh, can we buy Ethan, by the way? Can I see his face, dude? Concept art. There's lots of concept art. Weapons. Wow. Okay. First of all, oh, you're not gonna, oh, that's so mean, look. Oh, you twerps. <laughs> we don't get to see his, why don't we get to see his face? Okay, here we go. Now this is what I'm talking about. This is extra content. Let's go. That's fun. Well, I'm not gonna sit there and just like, peruse all the bonuses, you get the idea. Um, yeah, I mean, I, I have probably more detailed thoughts on Resident Evil Village, but... I gotta kind of sit with it for a while. So, oh, real quick though, real quick, real quick, if, um, if you're interested, I'm, I'm probably gonna start streaming this game a little bit, starting Saturday, uh, and... I'm, I'm gonna try to, like, 100% achievements on this, because right now I have... Uh, let's see, 24 out of 49 achievements, so I'm missing like half of them. And I 
on Twitch, on my Twitch channel, uh, for previous Resident Evil games, I got every single achievement in Resident Evil 7. I got every single achievement in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Um, I didn't for 3 Remake for personal reasons, uh, just bad timing, but but I'm probably gonna sit down and get some of the harder to acquire achievements starting on Saturday, and I'm gonna probably start by playing through the game on Village of Shadows difficulty, which is the hardest difficulty for the game. You can see right here, survive the unsurvivable. Very cool, I just beat it on standard. So we're gonna skip hardcore and probably go straight to Village of Shadows. I'm excited for it. So yeah, just uh, if you're interested in that, then that's gonna start on Saturday. Okay, cool. Um, also, thanks everybody for watching my series on this game. Uh, I know that a lot of people played this, like so many, everyone was playing this. Streamers were blazing through the game the day before release, you know, um, for a lot of people. And uh, yeah, I, you know, I got a late start compared to a lot of them, but you know, even beyond that, I know that pretty much any channel that has an even passing interest in horror game was, was playing this one. So thanks for watching my playthrough. I appreciate it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Think critically.